Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Victoria Conde and these are the stories we are tracking at the moment. Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General of River State Zakios Adongo has rejected his deployment as Commissioner for Special Duties. Zakios also tendered his re resignation from the State Executive Council. In a letter addressed to the Secretary to the River State Government, Zakios rejected his new office and accused Governor Fubara of interfering with the performance of his duties as Attorney General of the State. The bullet student of the British lead international school, Namtira Bwala, has sued over the incident of bullying and attack committed out on her in the school. Bwala asked the school authorities to immediately investigate and pronounce the stiffest possible sanctions in the students' rule book on Miriam Hassan, Falia, and nine other students within 48 hours, else she will seek an Im immediate and severe legal redress against the school. Lagos State Governor Babajide Sonwolu has flagged off the Eco Cat Initiative, a social intervention program aimed at lessening the burden on residents amid economic hardship. A total of 300,000 households are expected to benefit from the inaugural program, and the beneficiaries are caught across 20 local government areas and 37 local council development areas in, of the state. The World Bank, in collaboration with the National State Government on Tuesday, held a one-day sensitization workshop for stakeholders on the dangers of gender-based violence and female genital mutilation. The workshop brought together community and religious leaders from 13 local government areas of the state. This effort, according to the Niger COVID-19 Preparedness and Response Project, a World Bank-assisted project, was necessary due to the increasing cases of gender-based violence and other issues affecting the girl child in the state. And in business, the Central Bank of Nigeria says a notice circulating on social media about the risk of cryptocurrency is fake news. The Apex disclosed this via its official X account, urging the public to disregard the purported notice for all deposits money bank, non-bank financial institutions, and other financial institutions. The notice reminded institutions that dealing in cryptocurrencies and facilitating payments for cryptocurrency exchanges are prohibited. However, CBN said the content doesn't originate from it. And on the foreign scene, Russia's arrested Deputy Defense Minister Timur Ivanov on organized corruption charges and the most high-profile case since the start of the country's all-out war on Ukraine. A brief statement by Russia's investigative committee citing a statute for accepting bribes on a particularly large scale said on Wednesday that the arrest was made a day earlier. State media showed brief footage of the military officials standing in the Moscow court. It faces 15 years in prison if convicted. And in sports, the Nigeria Premier Football League, NPFL, has imposed a six million naira fine on Choir United for the disruption of the live broadcast of their match day 31 clash against Aqua United. Choir United were also charged for providing false information, which led to a fixture adjustment. The Amoni boys had requested that their game against Choir United, Aqua United be moved from Saturday April 20th to Sunday, April 21st, citing a letter claiming that the state government had planned an event at the stadium. Consequently, Choir United have 48 hours to appeal the verdict. That's it on the newsroom at this time. Many thanks for joining us. I am Victoria Conde. See you next time.